everyone today i will be reviewing this movie it is dropped on netflix called the devil to play and this movie it is starring daniel that were a uh, Catherine Dyer and this movie it is directed by Ruka Sky. So this movie takes place in this place called uh, Appalachian, this mountain like small town where uh, we see the rules don't apply like like some of these people they have their own rules there and there's a, many different type of people living in that small mountain town when I say a small town literally there's probably like 30 or 40 people but this movie started with this like a statement like these people are really out there like people like this so i don't know if it's kind of i guess it is based on a true story and in this movie you see that while or she is the single mom and we see in this movie her husband disappears and uh, she is she has this son she's trying to raise him this uh, in this farm house but when these two guy comes to her house and try to collect this death her husband own or to these people there and uh, like we see like she is uh, like basically this movie it is kind of like a thriller she get in caught between there's some things going on in that small town that is what this movie is basically about and there is some twist and turn and for me personally i always like uh whenever movie tells me southern stories about uh, like southern uh, places you know there <laughs> the people over there they are very different than the other part of the america so i enjoy whenever movie tells me a southern story like uh, especially the tom holland's movie devil all the time that movie also took place in you know, a small southern town uh you do have a like idea how the movie will go you know so there will be some extreme people there and there will be some religious people they bake pie uh that is the basic i guess the southern movie making turn this movie try to show you all this thing of course it throws you this twist and when i saw that the twist i was like huh uh and how this movie end also I was like huh, uh, that was like a convenient that means said I think this movie the acting from uh, uh, like a, what is her name uh, like Dead Weller she was I thought she was really good in this movie her acting was really good I think I have seen this actress somewhere before uh, this movie does centers around her and uh, she does have a lot of cry, cry scene in this movie I thought she did really good but unfortunately for me this movie it is kind of like a mix uh while this movie did have some interesting things happening uh, i would say halfway through but overall this movie does have a lot of like slow moon mountain scene scenery all this thing it's showing you you're like what am i doing here like this movie isn't very engaging but story itself is okay i feel like this movie could have told the story in 40 minutes or something this movie isn't long by any mean but it could have told even shorter time because it does have a lot of like stretchy scene there is some weird scene <laughs> which you do expect from southern uh, movie and uh, this movie does have it and of course there was one lady she is like this how she end up like uh, this movie how her character ends i was like huh uh so I will say I didn't like uh, the ending, the way she take the revenge. Spoiler here, uh, the way this uh, uh, Dead Weller character, she take revenge on these people. I was like, oh, that was very easy. I guess she just goes and it felt like I was watching Tarantino's movie, end of it. <laughs> how it ends, she's just going and how even she knows how to shoot a gun. Uh, this movie i'll say it was like okay watch for me i didn't love it i didn't like hate it uh, i think it's just okay and that was my thought on this let me know in the comment what do you think about this movie and if you enjoyed about this review don't forget my other reviews on other netflix movie if you enjoyed this please subscribe until i see you next time please take care